the world famous, internationally known Malcolm Reed of How to Barbecue Right released a short recently um, and he was making mac and cheese, smoked mac and cheese in this short. And it was a very unorthodox way of doing it that I've never seen done before. So long story short, I tried it and I'm going to give you my review of this recipe. <laughs> Been 30 minutes, y'all. According to Malcolm Reed's short, it is time to check the macaroni and cheese and give it a stir. Let's go. It's been another 30 minutes, one hour total. Now, according to Malcolm, if Malcolm is right, this thing should just about be ready. And uh, Malcolm is always right. Only thing I'm really worried about is the pasta. The pasta. The pasta. One more good stir. All right, guys, this thing should be done right now. Let's take a look. All right, man, so if you were paying very close attention during the video, you know, I already know that one of my problems or one of the things that I was worried about is the pasta. But I thought that the pasta wouldn't get completely done because it went in raw actually the opposite occurred for me and it was overcooked the the texture of the cheese and everything was on point fantastic but when i took a bite i noticed right away that the pasta was just almost lost like i couldn't taste it it was it was kind of mushy it was blending in with the cheese so that was one thing that um bothered me and one of the things that me and my wife kind of couldn't get past. The other thing really surprised me. With this recipe having all the ingredients kind of going in raw and everything, I thought, oh cool, it's gonna get so much more smoke because all of the ingredients are in the smoke at the, at the whole time. That turned out to be a bad thing to tell you the truth because it ended up being just too much smoke for us. Now I changed a couple of things as far as flavor-wise. Flavor-wise it was good. I didn't use Velveeta. I'm not a big fan of it, so I used shredded cheese. It wasn't the cheese, it was the pasta and it was the smoke. The pasta was was mushy and it was just way too much smoke for us. I mean, other than that, it's a solid recipe. I wouldn't have believed that you could do it that way. Just put everything in the pan raw. That's what's so cool about it. You just dump everything in the pan and put it in the smoker and it comes out good. Your mileage may vary, and you should try it for that reason. All right, y'all. So I told you I was going to tell you, I was going to show you the backyard at this place. Y'all know I love being in my backyard. I love hanging out with y'all in my backyard. But I want you to see the backyard at this place. I think you're going to, I think you're going to get a treat. There it is, y'all. The back door. It is time to take you out to the big reveal of the backyard where we're going to be staying. You're going to get a kick out of this. Hope you're ready. <laughs> yep. That's the whole backyard right there. My wife was like, you can still grill back there, you still got room. No, I will go crazy. So basically, basically I gotta go out in the front or on the side or something like that. Cause this right here. I ain't gonna be able to do it. This is a really, really nice spot. And to be honest with you, we just really, really blessed. Uh, last time we had to leave out of our house, we were in a little bitty tiny uh, Airbnb that was really meant for one place, one person. Everything in there was within 10 feet of you. Bathroom, kitchen, everything. And it was one very, very, very uncomfortable metal spring bed. So. Even though I'm kind of making fun of this situation with the backyard, just because y'all know how I do. We are blessed 
We are blessed. We are blessed. And we're going to be very comfortable here for however long it takes. But it ain't no place like home, y'all. It's run on the grill.